Hello. That's all that matters. Don't get it twisted, buddy. I talk well to people. They ain't even got college degrees. You know what I'm saying? But I always tell people go to college. All right. So are y'all ready for them? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all ready for them? Yeah. We good. We good. Are y'all ready for y'all? Man, y'all. I'm just going. Are y'all ready for him? Yeah! yeah. Man, are y'all ready for him? Yeah! Where we at right now, y'all? Where we at? Oh. Yeah. We have not one, but two Woo. of our top income earners of Wake Up Now. Let's give a round of applause, number one, real quick. Trey Anderson, 21 years old, y'all. And one.
where else can that be happening? You know, I can't do that at a job. You know, I can't do that working two jobs. So you know, if you're in, you know, wake up now. You know, we have the best thing you know in the industry right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, obviously, YG probably said plenty of stuff about us. Uh, I said bad stuff. You got to talk about the good stuff. Uh, <laughs> so, so, I got involved uh, in this industry. I was about 19. Moved from Northern California down to San Diego for school. Uh, I was going for to play basketball. Things didn't really work out as planned, so that's kind of the only reason why I was going to do school anyways. Um, I didn't, I never really had a career path that I wanted to take. There was nothing out there that really like set my mind on. So it was kind of hit and miss with trying to figure out what I wanted to do, whether it was go, you know, live on some tropical island or try to make some money and be able to just enjoy life as much as I could. So I got introduced to this industry. Um, first few years, definitely rough. Um, I know some of you maybe experienced that as well. I mean, it's not always, you know, peaches and cream right off the bat. So it took about three and a half years for me to finally kind of get the ball rolling and, and start seeing some success, some results of the work that have been put in. Um, and that's one reason why I always stress persistence is key because it's really easy to just, you know, after a month or two kind of give up. Um, but in the back of my mind, I always had that I didn't want the alternative. And for me, that was you know, just a, a regular job or even a career or something. And because I had nothing that I really had my heart set on, I knew that if I could just figure out a way to, to make some money to where I didn't have to work and I could just have my bills paid and just chill, because I don't do a lot of stuff. I, don't, I just watch movies all day, sit on the couch. So that's really, all, that was my goal. I never, I never tried to be some, you know, millionaire or make all this money. I just wanted couple thousand dollars a month, have my bills paid, have food in the fridge, and just chill. So, finally kind of started seeing some results. Um, got a good foundation of all the relationships that I've built over the years. And that's another key too, is, is it's, whether you do it online or offline, it's all about relationships. I mean, that's the everyday thing. So when it comes to business, that's even more important because when you build relationships, kind of like we, I mean, we met online, just random, and over the past, what, 18 months or so, and doing stuff offline as well, it's created that relationship into a friendship and a true friendship and partnership when it comes to business. And I think that makes it easier to, to be able to build um, for the long term because if you're building with people that, whether you've known them for a long time or you meet them um, through business and they become good friends and partners, it helps that that business building aspect a lot more because you can come and do things like this and actually have where you pop into places and it's people that you know and you've met. Um, so going forward with the starting seeing some of the success, I uh, got introduced to Wake Up Now in March uh, last year, 2013, and there was something about it at the time because a lot of you probably are are fairly new or within the last what, 12 months or so, so. When I first saw it, it was just the, the membership, just the platinum package. Um, so I understood what the value it had with the products and services. Um, I understood the value with the compensation plan, how powerful it was because of the average uh, founder three level and the average people. And that was always, like I said, my goal was just how can I just establish a couple thousand dollars. And I knew if I could do that, the average person would be able to do that as well. So something about it just it hit me in the gut, and I was like, this, this could be that opportunity that I've been looking for all these years. And um, so I talked with my, my other business partner, Greg, that he mentioned, and we just said, well, if we're going to do it, let's do it. Let's make it happen. Um, so that's when we went out to Puerto Rico last year for my birthday. It just happened to be the same time. Uh, did the whole announcement. We figured if we're going we're gonna to make an announcement, we might as well make it big. It's either going to be a bang or a bust. I guess it was a pretty good thing. <laughs> so that was kind of the, the thought process on that. And it just, you know, people kind of, one, because of what we've established over the years, um, people knew they could trust our word. And I think that was key, too, is making sure that you're, not only are you being persistent in the amount of work you put in, but it's staying consistent to who you are and being true to who you are. 
because you can't just keep flip-flopping every other month. One month you're super positive, this outgoing person, the next month you're just a miserable, you know. It's like people, when they get an idea of who you are and they can read you, it makes them a lot more comfortable that they can come approach you and see, hey man, I've been watching you for the past three, four, five months. You've been consistent in everything you're doing, you know, and people are going to be attracted to that. So uh, we kind of had a, a good little a base. He was one of them. Um, and then once, once summer rolled around, I mean, it just kind of took off. YG got involved and everything. We just started having all these other pieces that got involved. And then, uh, yeah, it just kind of went crazy from summer. So fast forward a year, what, 14 months after that, and here we are here at the Hell Yeah. Woo-hoo! Woo! Woo! With, with the man. <laughs> Only when you're not here. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's... You know, his, his story is, I think, with Wake Up Now, I feel like you're starting to see his type of story more often because of the way Wake Up Now is, is set up. And it's only going to get better with what we have rolling out um, here until convention and then beyond with more products, more aspects to the, the retail side. Just everything about it is just coming full circle, which I didn't even really know about when I got involved. I had a vision of kind of what it could be, but when I went to Palm Springs for the first escape trip we had in May, I think it was around this time last year, and I remember that Jason Elrod, the president, I met him in LA um, like a month after I got involved. He was out there, so me and Greg went out, met up with him, had a good talk. But when we went to Palm Springs at the escape trip, I remember the first thing he said to me, he was like, the hub. Just keep that in mind. You're gonna hear about the hub. At the time, it was like, we didn't have the hub, we just had the marketplace. I was like, all right, okay, I can see where this is going, and you know, <laughs> wheels start turning, and I mean, everyone knows the hub now. I mean, you've got the hub hive, like it's it's coming to fruition, what they were saying. So it's just, it's cool to see people like him and others that this could be their first experience in network marketing and have that experience. Um, I'm jealous of it because I wish I would have been able to have something like this when I first got involved. But at the same time, I don't I don't hate what I experienced because I think it's allowed me to get to where I am now. So if you look at it both ways and the positives of both sides, I mean, you, you can't go wrong. So that's why, like I said, if you've been involved in network marketing, and whether you've had success or not, understand that what I established may have been one year in Wake Up Now, but it's been four plus years in the making. So it wasn't like it just happened and here I stumbled across you know, some success. So, um, but yeah, whether you new, veteran, first time, hundred time, whatever it is, just understand that what we have here is one of those, I won't say never before seen, but definitely up there as a, a, a game changer in the sense of we took all the positives of the industry and we brought them all together and we got rid of the negatives. And I think a lot of you know what the negatives on, on that is. So. Keep your head down, keep running, because like I said, we're not gonna we're not gonna find another thing like this for a long time coming, if ever again. So just keep that in mind every time, you know, things might get a little frustrating. Uh, you know, you might have some whatever side chatter. Um, just understand where we've gone from when I first got involved to where we are now and to where we're still gonna go another year, two years, three years down the road. So always have that, that vision of where you want to go personally with your life, whether it's F3 and you're cool because that's extra money on top of your job, now you don't got to stress and work the extra hours, or if you're really trying to make this a career like he was saying and, and retire with it and have that residual income, whatever it is, that's fine. Just understand what you want and then go get it. And don't quit till you get it because that's the only way you're not going to achieve it is if you quit. That's it. Wow. Now, what a lot of y'all don't know about this gentleman is the fact that he really helps when it comes down to having a voice in the company. Yeah. But people like us, I'll go down to corporate, I'll see Seymour down there, and he's fighting for us. Y'all get what I'm saying? You know, because it's not like we have a company that hear from the field, right? Jason, all the ownership, they hear from us, and they really take what we say. All right, and they implement it in the right time. You know, we got that trust, ownership, feel type of leadership type deal. And that's a love that. So, you know, uh, uh, 
what I want to do now is I want to get right into the Q&A because we got some folks that probably ain't got no jobs after today because they done took off and they boss said you can't. <laughs> so we owe them that, right? If that's you, you get to um, ask your question first. <laughs> 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 